Hi everybody. Okay, in this video we are looking at week five, day four, but just the RRW part. There's another video to teach you how to play the phonics game. It's just pretty elaborate. There's lots of parts to it. So that has its own video. This is for RRW for continuing to think about Canada. Okay, so let's look at our work from yesterday or the last lesson and then um, we'll get into what you're going to work on for today. So number one was asking, what are two unique features British Columbia describes based on that stanza, that chunk right there um, that says, my name is British Columbia, the jewel of the West Coast. Forestry and fishing are the things that I do most. So what are two features that it describes there? I answered, one unique feature of British Columbia is that it has many forests and lots of places to go fishing. That kind of counts as two. If you use those as your two, that's okay. I also added, another feature is that it is on the west coast. Because in that stanza, that's what it tells me makes British Columbia special. If you had just about the same answer as me, but maybe you didn't write it in complete sentences, I would love, 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 love for you to go back and try writing your answers in complete sentences. I, it will, I bet that my heart will skip a beat from far, far away because I'll know that you're writing in complete sentences. And you know that that's all teachers, all time favorite thing. The next question was asking us about who's narrating the poem and what details help us know that. So I said, the poem is narrated by all of the provinces in Canada. They are talking like they are people, even though they are actually places. I can tell because each part of the poem starts with the province introducing itself and saying hello. They also use the word I, which tells me the narrator is talking about itself. Then the last uh, question asked me to paraphrase the final stanza. So that means put the last chunk of the poem into my own words and explain what is the central message of the poem and how do all the other stanzas, all the other parts, help me understand that. So I said, the last stanza is saying that all the provinces come together to make Canada the amazing country that it is. All of the stanzas tell why each province is special, but at the end it says that it's when all the different places work together as friends that Canada is truly strong and happy. So the last activity for um, yesterday's lesson was to write a summary about what the poems taught you. Now, a summary is when you write a complete paragraph to tell the most important parts of what you've read. So you take the big text and you shrink it down into just the most important stuff. And it's a really important skill for readers and writers because it's a way to show that you understood what you read and to help other people understand it too. We worked on summaries sometimes in second grade, but then we had to go home and we weren't able to be in our classroom together anymore and we kind of stopped. So. If your summary writing, well, you were like, Miss Sweet, I don't get it. That's okay. I want to show you my summary so that you know what I'm talking about when we use that word. And then for the next couple of weeks, when you hear summary, you'll have a better idea of what to do. So if you wrote a summary, awesome. I'd love to read it. If you didn't or the one you wrote, you don't, you're not that into it, no big deal. But I just want to show you what I'm talking about. I wrote... This text is mainly about Canada and what makes each of its provinces special. Canada has 10 provinces. They are British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Ontario, Quebec, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. They are all different, but they all come together to make Canada great. Some parts of Canada, like Quebec, speak French. Some parts of Canada, like Newfoundland, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia, are all by the Atlantic Ocean. Some parts of Canada are prairies, such as Manitoba and Saskatchewan. As you can see, Canada is really big. Even though lots of its pieces are different, they all help to make Canada a happy and strong country. 
Great, now let's switch into your work for today. All right, so this is gonna be a writing planning day. So we are going to look at our prompt and then you're gonna think about what you wanna say. We're gonna plan it all out and then tomorrow you'll be able to write your final draft. All right, so the question that you're going to be answering it's right there in bold towards the top. How are Canada's provinces unique and different from one another? One more time. How are Canada's provinces unique or different from one another? So the first thing I want you to do is let this graphic organizer help you figure out your ideas. It's nice and simple. So on one side, you're gonna list the province, its name, and then on the other side, you're gonna use the poem to list its characteristics. So we've been talking a lot about British Columbia, that's the province. The characteristics that we learn from the poem are that there's forestry and fishing. So really quick, not complete sentences, just nice and easy. Um, you're gonna jot those ideas down. Then you're gonna use those ideas and turn them into a quick outline. Now this quick outline looks a little bit different than what we've used in class. And if you wanna use the one we've, we've done in class, you may. But this is really just the same thing with, with lines to help you out. So you're gonna come up with your topic sentence to answer the prompt. And then you're gonna come up with three details to explain what makes Canada's provinces unique and different. Don't get tricked, the paper um, runs out of room, so the spot for your closing sentence, your conclusion, is just on the next page. So this is what we call compare writing or comparative writing because you're showing what it's like in one place versus what it's like in the other. And I want you to think about our unit that we did with now and then when we were learning about how things were a long time ago and how they've changed and what they're like now. And we use some pretty complex sentence structures to talk about those things. So I'm hoping that this kind of comes back because you've done it a lot before. So I want to show you some sentence frames that could help you with your writing. So one sentence frame could be in mm, there are mm but in mm, there are mm, okay? So you could fill it in with what the opposites are, okay? In British Columbia, there are lots of forests, but in Ontario, there are a lot more people, that kind of thing, based on what you learned from the poem. Another one in the middle is mm is mm, but mm is mm. So again, you're filling it in with facts that you learned from the poem to show how these places are different. I'm giving you three different sentence stems and you need three details. So if you want, you could use each of these once. And if you have any other kinds of sentences that you wanna write or any other action words you wanna use, please, please, please go for it. Take some risks. But these frames are here to help guide you while you get your ideas organized. So you're going to use this kind of quick outline to do your topic sentence, your three details using those sentence frames if you want, and then your closing sentence, your conclusion. There's another kind of organizer in your packet that you're welcome to use if you want, but I would suggest using the other one. You don't have to do both. You only have to do one of the quick outline kind of organizers. This one is an option though, and it's basically asking for the same stuff, just in a little bit of a different way. So if you do the other kind of quick outline, you don't need to worry about this page. If you wanna try this one, you're, you're welcome to, um, but it, we've never done it before, and this is kind of a hard time to start. So I would say do the other one. Awesome, so once you are done planning all of your writing and figuring out what you wanna say, that's it for today. Um, and then our next activity tomorrow, we will turn all of these awesome ideas into a beautiful final draft. So great job, way to keep it moving.
awesome. Love ya. Miss ya. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.